What's going on, DMG Clan? The fine folks over at PB Tales sent me the Porsche of all gaming controllers, and I've had it for about a month. Today, I'm going to share with you my thoughts about this awesome looking controller. PB Tales, a company that I've not heard of until they reached out to me to see if I wanted to review and share my experience with their Porsche of all gaming controllers they call the crush controller so let's open up this shipping box to see if we actually got a porsche or a controller inside and there it is i was not expecting such a classy box or my favorite color that is this box looks like a porsche could possibly be inside which brings us to what we have inside when you open this box you're presented with a collage of wonders almost an artistic picasso piece the controller itself stares at you waiting to be handled and played, but we'll set that aside to see what other secrets we have in store. There's a USB-C cable to USB-A, which is great I'm sure, so we can use it for wired gameplay. Of course, the O manual, just in case you need some help figuring out how to use it, as according to the manual it does have multiple modes and works for multiple devices. Now for the controller in the padded foam bag. To keep it safe let's reveal the porsche and crush our dreams because it's not a real porsche but it does look amazing we have hall stick joysticks that feel smooth and responsive a toggle switch to navigate between xbox and nintendo switch controller modes an easy to find sync button next to a usb c port with a flashy light that tells you if it's syncing almost like the lights on a porsche the analog hall effect triggers and tactile bumpers feel great but now how the heck do we get this front plate off? With a little bit of magic, there we go. This strong magnetized front plate does pop off. The ABX and Y buttons aren't removable, but the joysticks surely are if you wanna buy different joysticks. This is a great option. I also think that it's really cool about this controller is the faceplate removal, because I know personally my controllers do get pretty scratched up over time. And being able to, able to swap out the faceplate to just replace it, or maybe you want to just change the color in the future, is a really great option to have. Now for the coolest feature. This controller has some cool RGB lighting effects you'll want to check out. You can change the light of the ABXY to either Xbox, Switch, Dreamcast, or PlayStation. But if you don't like the multicolor of those buttons, you can cycle through over 200 colors. Even the bottom light changes color. So that's my initial thoughts on what this controller looks like in the unboxing process, but what can we do with this thing? How easy is it to connect to our devices? Well, the devices that I own at least. So let's jump in and look at that. So of course I would have to try some Nintendo Switch. Yes, I still own my Nintendo Switch and I will not get rid of it. So I jumped into the controller settings, went to change grip order. I ended up syncing it and turning on the little toggle switch that said S because the X is for Xbox mode. While the light was flashing, I was like, okay, let's press L and R and it vibrated and it connected. I was able to jump into some Mario Kart, played around on that for a while, tested out a couple other buttons just to see how they would function and had some fun because I felt like I was holding a Porsche in my hands. The next thing I tried was some Android I had a little bit of technical difficulties, probably because I have so many different devices connected to my phone. So I ended up removing all of these devices and then connected the controller and it connected right away. After I got it connected, I obviously had to jump into some gameplay. So I ended up jumping into some COD Mobile. It picked it up as an Xbox controller, as I hoped it should. And we had some victory at the end. I was actually the number one player of this round. So I ended up connecting it to my Windows mobile handheld rather than my PC, just because. And it connected right away. I jumped into some gameplay, played some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Despite being very bad at the game, the controller felt really nice in the hands and I just had some fun with it. Because again, it literally did feel like I was holding a Porsche. So to conclude, if you're looking to play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, or any other PC games, or you're looking to play some Nintendo Switch, either on your Nintendo Switch, or some <coughs> emulation, or if you're looking for some mobile fun using your phone to play some Call of Duty or any other mobile games, 
I highly recommend this controller as I have had it for approximately a month now and we've used it quite a bit a lot more on the Nintendo Switch than anything and it really does feel great in the hands and it has lasted and felt just perfect for an alternative controller to any other controllers that are on the market which leads me to my next thing I think you should go buy one there is an affiliate link in the link in the description below this company reached out to me to share this product and they do get to see this before I share it with all of you, but I'm sure they'll like my honest one month review.